What's up everyone, it's Kev, the YouTube audio guy. The YouTube channel for short, informative videos in plain English on how to create clean, creative audio. Alright, today we're going to talk about electric guitar grooves. I'm writing a song and I want to create an intro groove with a strumming electric guitar plugged into a wah pedal. Now I actually play guitar and when I play, I vary the chords and the rhythm, but I also vary the rocking movement of my foot on that wah pedal. Those foot movements cannot be simulated with an auto wah and they are not random. There's specific movements that change every four beats. So, how do I create this with plugins? To solve this puzzle, I decided to use Native Instruments Scarby Funk Guitars to create the custom guitar groove, which I'll cover in this video. And for the custom varying wah pattern, I chose Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5, which will be in part two of this video. Okay, here's the finished product. <laughs> Okay, let's break down how I did this. Let's talk Scarby Funk Guitars first. Okay, in my workstation software, I've launched Contact and I've opened Scarby Funk Guitars. If your screen looks different than mine, click on Combi and Main. I want a warm but bright tone for this guitar, so I'll select the neck and middle pickup. Let's move the pickup selector switch to NM for neck and middle pickup. Now that we've set that, here's how Funk Guitars works. On the Contact keyboard below, the B key, right here, is red in color. Now this is important. There are three simple things to remember about Scarby Funk Guitars. One, the left side of the keyboard determines what chord is being played. Two, the right side of the keyboard, here, determines the strum rhythm or the groove to be played. And three, the red B key, right here, is a stop control, as in stop playing. Let's try this. I'll click on chords, and a keyboard comes up on the left with a preset menu. Now presets in this menu select the chord layout for the left side of the keyboard. Let's select 70s Disco Party. Next I'll click on Grooves and a keyboard comes up on the right with a menu. Presets in this menu change the groove or the strum pattern layout for notes on the right side of the keyboard. I'll select 80 straight. We're now ready to play some chords. Coolest part? You only need one finger from each hand, a total of two fingers to play this instrument. Watch the contact keyboard below, right here, as I demonstrate this. Cool. Now that we've covered the basics, let's create a custom chord groove. First, since we're on our groove tab, let's select a new strum pattern. Let's scroll down and select top right here, single click on it. Now, I'll create a chord preset by clicking on the chord tab right here, single click, and I'll select empty, and I'll rename it by clicking this disc icon right here. Now I have a keyboard built right into Scarby Funk Guitar, so let's backspace, I'll call it Kev's Chords. Click add new, and now it appears in our chord preset list. Now I'll create a custom layout of five specific chords. I'll click on map so I can select the chords I want to use. The first chord is an E minor seven with the top note being the fifth. So I select E minor seven, top note, fifth. I now have four options of the same chord voiced differently right here in this list. Okay, what does all that mean? Well, here's how it works. A guitar can play the same chord a number of different ways, but the cool thing about funk guitars is that you don't have to know guitar or music theory. You simply double click on a chord in the list and it starts playing. So you can listen to it and pick chords based on what sounds best to you. Let's try this. Very cool. For me, the first voicing is my preference. So I'll click the first option to highlight it. I want to play that chord from this C key. So I'll move my mouse over that key and a pencil tool appears. I'll click the pencil key on the C key and now my chord is assigned to that key. To confirm this, 
you'll notice the C key on the contact keyboard down below here is now yellow in color. So I'll click it. And there we are. Now let's add in the rest of the chords. My next chord is an E suspended fourth with a four on top. And I want that on the D key. Single click here. Next, C major seven. C major seven with a seven on the top. I want the first one. Let's put it here. Next, D suspended four. D sus four with a four on top. I want this one and I'll put it here. Last but not least, I want a D major chord. Oops, try again. D major chord with a three on top. I want this one and let's put it here. Perfect. Let's save this chord and group pair as a combi. Click on combi and browse. Now, keyboards come up on both sides with a menu in the center. These presets are chord and strum layouts combined. This allows you to mix chord and groove layouts and save them as a combined preset. Let's click on the disk icon and name it. We'll call it Kev's Combi. Let's backspace here. Kev's Combi. And then click Add New. And now we have our preset in the Combi list of user presets. User here, factory here. And this is our current preset. Okay, let's go to our track listing. To save time, I'll drop in my two finger pattern on this track right here. So let's drop that in. And there we are. You can watch the contact keyboard below to follow which notes I've played. Let's hear that. If you'd like to download a session file of today's lesson, go to www.youtubeaudioguy.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.